two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you. Um, today is the day for my orientation in RSU room. So. Nervous, nervous, but excited. Sorry for the loud noise. I'm at my workplace actually because um, here I got Wi Fi. Hi, so currently I'm ready for the meeting to start. Like, I try to turn together everyone else in the chat. Uh, but I'm no one like no one opened their camera so do I. I'm not gonna open my camera until what it does. I'm nervous. You see my baby girl there. Hello. <laughs> Why do you open your camera? Not yet, not yet. Please. Oh okay, yes, somebody has opened it just You know, just like this one. Just started. They are introducing our lecturer right now. I don't know if I should um, show you. Like giving us a quick tour around the university um, you can go to RSU YouTube channel I'm sure there's a lot of video around the university and makes you like more excited than I am <laughs> right now they are currently like uh, showing us the how to say the past event like 2020 event it's cool actually it's cool Right now, actually <laughs> speaking Japanese, and I'm so amazed about it. So, I asked already a few questions here, so I got my answer uh, just a few times. I think it's a good answer. Can I start? Okay, uh, so Dika, uh, my name is uh, Nadia, but you can call me Nadi. Uh, I'm living in Malaysia and I'm taking communication arts. Uh, yeah, Malaysia. Kabar <laughs> baik, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who is in front of me? My supervisor. Huh? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm currently waiting like for the orientation to start at 1pm right now it's 1240 Sorry for the loud background noise because I'm at my workplace and I need to use the Wi-Fi oh, Hopefully everything went well, I will update as soon as the meeting starts Currently waiting session is finished and after that there's a quick like um, live session Q&A for a com art student which I'm taking com art for my degree and what surprised me the most is 
I didn't know at first, okay? Until I, I saw this, like... You, you know who is this, right? I was shocked at first. And then I, like, go out from the live and see the, the poster again and it's, it's true. It's Pavel Poof. I'm happy! studying communication arts? Yes, Maddie and I are friends from Malaysia. We're coming together. Yes. That's such a good idea, coming with your friends. Yeah. At least you know you can have your pride or die. You guys, <laughs> you guys will have so much fun. Saw you in orientation. Lee? I was or watching. Nadia. Both? Tell me your experience studying in Rangsit. Experience? Um, at the beginning of the year when I was a freshman, luckily there wasn't COVID because that was like four years ago. Um, so I did so many activities. Like I was at campus until 5 p.m. every day. Like it was so much fun. I made a lot of friends. And I'm not Thai and I couldn't speak Thai when I first came. But then I surrounded myself with so many Thai friends, so many international friends. And then right now I'm a lot better four years later. So, so when you guys get the vaccine and come back on campus, study at Rangsit University at like um, International College and RIC you know we actually have so many connections with friends and you know professor like they all come like from around the globe like everyone is from like different part of like the culture and everyone coming together to meet and like you can learn a lot of experience not just what you're studying you can actually learn like the culture of other people as well and you have like um connection that you know our professors they actually like very like professional and they have like a lot of connection outside um the country and so when you finish like you graduate you will have like you can ask them consult with them like what you want to do and they will have like connection to take you places where you want to go if you want to work in thailand you want to work overseas you know you have that option so it's very like it's very like i have no doubt like that i chose this you know like university and this um, program is very like good do you have classes that teach you on how to raise your self-confidence do we yes we do so um as a communication arts student we have classes like speech class oh yeah, yeah. that one yeah speech class and to be honest that's all like basic right? yeah the it's basic. like basic class but um for example for me but it's not that basic yeah it's not that basic but like for us for example we do a lot of work like volunteer work on the front line so right now we're doing this live for you guys and we'll do jobs like mc and we'll do all these kind of um activities and stuff and that really helps with my self-confidence like in high school i couldn't talk in front of a crowd yeah. but now since i've done orientation projects so many times in the past, yeah we talk to like agencies we pitch on the front line and that really boosts your confidence like doing this live right now talking to ourselves you know yeah this kind of thing do we get to learn thai as well along with the grooming of our english communication skill i think we had thai classes right at the beginning yeah we had um basic thai class because here in our international college we have like um other friend from around the um the world we have like friends from myanmar indonesia malaysia china and like um europeans um americans so everyone has to learn thai as well just if you're thai you still have to learn it because if, like, it's like an international school so yeah of course you will learn it along the way how are their acceptance of the job students in rsu very accepted like um, we, don't, we don't have any problems no, we see people <laughs> walking around with hijab all the time like yeah. nothing nothing different at all does rsu provide scholarships yes. yes we are both we are scholarship um, student 50 50 like you can have 50 percent where you um pay the other half or you can have i think it's 100 percent as well yeah the 100 percent is pretty rare but you have to apply and i think we both went through like a not audition like a screening process like 
yeah, like English tests, um, grades, and a lot of. And I think they have like nowadays they have influencers yeah. as well. Influencer yeah, like YouTuber, like you actually do for the university, like you do the goods for the university. You know what I'm saying? I just heard about the influencer scholarship just now. Is it true? Yes. I just we just heard it too that there there is gonna be a new set of scholar. Yeah, I'm trying to apply to for my masters, yeah. but um, it's like influencer. You use like you have uh, fan base followers, and you can use that to help promote the university. Series called Two Minutes Two. I think I think it's a good series. Actually, three actors from Two Minutes Two, including Pavel, who is studying here in our faculty. No, I wasn't in there. What are you talking about? There's Pavel, who there's Peter, and Ben. There's a lot of people on my TikTok asking about me. Really? There's a lot of people on my TikTok asking me about Round City University. Well, go to tell them to follow Pavel. Boom. I would tell you all. I'm actually sure my idol is P. Davika, and I'm sure that her success also helped by her. Yes, of yes. course. She's, she's so beautiful. She like she's graduated, so we don't see her anymore. But she's actually very close with the Jansen, so you kind of if you want to see her, work your way through that. That's my recommendation. We're really excited that you guys chose RIC Communication.